Hey, what's wrong, Inu san? I learned how to write markdown and how to organize my notes. But I don't know when and what notes to jot down in my coding workflow. Yeah, I know how you feel. It is kind of confusing and overwhelming to use note taking apps because they basically allow you to write anything. It's easy to waste your time trying to figure out when and what to jot down without having a clear and focused approach. I'm kind of lost. I don't want to waste my time. I just want to improve my workflow. Can you tell me how you actually take tech notes, Takuya? Okay, no worries. I'll take you through a concrete method which focuses on issues. Issues? Yes. In your software development, you primarily aim to solve issues. You will encounter a lot of various issues to solve during your development journey. So, you should focus on writing issues when taking notes. That sounds interesting. Let's delve into the art of tech note taking. When taking tech notes on Inkjob, it is highly recommended to follow the simple rule one note per issue. One note per issue? Hmm. But what are issues in the first place? An issue can be a problem, task, or any matter that you encounter in your project. Software developers commonly manage their tasks using issue trackers like GitHub issues. Let me show you. The Electron repository here. So, as you can see, developers track bug reports, performance issues, feature requests, and roadmap discussions. You can also see they have levels like bug, uh, uh, enhancement, version numbers and platforms. So when working on your project, you likely encounter similar challenges, ideas, or questions. Inkjob encourages you to create one note for each of these instances. For a bug, start a new note. For a fresh idea, create a new one. That makes sense. I tend to create a note with an abstract title and mixed topics. I guess I should think of what is an issue before creating a note whenever I encounter something to solve. Takuya, which kinds of issues do you take notes on? Great question. Here are some of the key types of the issues where taking notes would be helpful for your engineering workflow. Small projects, bugs, feature ideas, learning tasks, research topics, troubleshooting issues, configuration and tips, performance optimization, and operation procedures or logs. I've published my real world notes as an example on the documentation. So let me show you here. So you can refer to them while watching this tutorial. Cool. They would be great inspiration for me. As a beginner programmer, I'm interested in checking the learning tasks category. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, this one, learn spelt JS. So when you're trying to figure out how to do something technical, it's time to jot down individual steps like commands, code snippets, UI screenshots, or things like that. Yeah, I have so many things to learn, such as programming languages, frameworks, setting up development environments, and algorithms. Yeah, I take notes when learning something new too. For example, here's a note that I took when I first tried to learn Svelte.js. So I also posted a vlog about it so you can see how I actually take notes. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take a look at this note on Inkjob. So this is my note that I took while learning Svelte.js. So it contains a link to the official docs and explains the difference between between Astro.js, then I realized that Svelte.js requires their own format .svelte. I didn't know what Svelte Kit was, so I wrote something like "What is Svelte Kit?" and I copied some example code here. I didn't understand what the dollar sign mean. So I noted that as well. 
So whenever I encounter something I don't understand, I simply document my confusion in this way. That looks like a unique approach, unlike school study notes. Yeah, because it doesn't help you learn by just copying and pasting the official documentation into your notes. Instead, you should write not only what you understand, but also what you don't understand. Okay? Nice tip. I'll try it. Cool. In addition, I'd like you to keep in mind that you shouldn't try to make a perfect note. What do you mean? I suppose you thought my note didn't look perfect when you saw it, right? Yeah, kind of. But that's important. My notes are messy, disorganized, and imperfect. What I'm trying to say is that your tech notes aren't meant to make you look smart or akin to homework reports to be submitted to your teacher. It's a popular pitfall where you spend too much time striving your perfection. So simply jot down what you think is necessary. There's no need to feel bad or miserable when honestly writing that, writing what you don't understand because it is all part of your learning journey. So don't pretend to be smart when taking tech notes. Okay? I got it. I'll be honest to myself when taking tech notes. Great. Okay, so let's take a look at the next example. This is about a fixing a bug where the app hangs on macOS Sonoma under certain conditions. I created this node upon receiving a bug report on the user forum here. So Alessandro reported this bug. And uh, so I inserted a link to the bug report on, uh, in my note. And initially, I had no idea what was actually causing, causing the bug. Oh, that sounds so terrifying. <laughs> yeah, it was. But you don't have to understand the technical details I've written in this note here. I'm trying to tell you how to take notes when debugging, okay? So first, I added a link to the bug report from the user forum. And next, I wrote my suspicions here. But it turned out that... Uh, uh, the log was nothing to do with the issue. Then I started investigating and wrote out what happened along with my thoughts, like this. Then I, I suspected that it might be an electrons bug. So I tried upgrading electron to the latest version, but the issue still persisted. So I continued investigating and, and uh, this led me to believe it might be an application level issue. So I looked into my code base and tried to reproduce the issue on my, in my environment. So then finally I found the culprit, which was electrons remote objects. <laughs> yeah. So I finally found it, found it. Then I built a patched version and asked the user who reported the issue to test it. Okay, I think it is important to jot down what doesn't work, like your wrong assumptions, right? Yes, exactly. I take notes while debugging, not after. It is like narrating your hacking journey to yourself. By doing so, this approach allows you to look at the issue objectively. Writing what doesn't work lets you forget unnecessary details and focus on what truly matters. That makes sense. By the way, I noticed that you used emojis in your notes. Good point, Inu-san. Indeed, I often use emojis to emotionally express my thoughts. Like this. Emotionally? But these are tech notes, right? Is such expression necessary? Yes, because these are personal notes reflecting your own journey. Moreover, the process of hacking can often be solitary. Just like writing diaries, it would be nice to express how you feel while tackling issues. This way, even if you are working alone, it makes you feel like you are collaborating with yourself. That would help you clarify your thoughts and maintain motivation at the same time. That sounds nice. Yeah, I feel lonely when facing challenges, but Inkdrop could be a companion by expressing my feelings. I'll give it a try. Yeah, 
Enjoy the process of solving issues. One week later. Hey, Takuya. What happened, Inu-san? I messed up my notes. I've been jotting down notes on bugs and feature ideas. Now I'm struggling to quickly identify which issues I should prioritize because my current active tasks and completed ones are jumbled together in my notebooks. How can I sort these issues by their status? All right. By the way, you are making solid progress with your tech note-taking, Inu-san. So you've amassed numerous notes on various issues, but they aren't neatly organized by their current status, right? So do you remember that Ingroup supports note statuses? So Ingroup offers four statuses to help you manage your tasks. So you can change anytime. Something like so. Oh, that's right. I remember now. Yeah, so notes labeled as completed and drops are hidden by default in the note list when viewing through a notebook. Notebook, but you can check out uh, individual note status uh, from the sidebar here. This feature helps you concentrate on the issue that are still active. So your completed or dropped notes can always be re revisited uh, from the sidebar here. All right, I think I got it now. By practicing the one note per issue approach, I can effectively manage my notes as tasks with these note statuses. Cool. Exactly, Inusa. Okay, to wrap up this part, here are the key points. A simple rule, one note per issue. You should focus on writing issues such as bugs, feature ideas, learning tasks, research topics, troubleshooting issues, and so on. Write both your understandings and misunderstandings. And avoid striving for perfection. Do not pretend to be smart in your notes. Your notes are not homework reports to be submitted to your teacher. Take notes while debugging not afterwards. Treat note-taking as a way to narrate your problem-solving journey to yourself. That allows you to view the issue objectively. Express your thoughts, including your emotions. This way, even if you are working alone, it makes you feel like you are collaborating with yourself. Use note statuses to keep track of your issues. With a one note per issue approach, Node statuses can let you manage your nodes effectively as tasks. Yeah, so that's it. There are many more e other example nodes uh, on the documentation here. So please check them out for further inspiration. Yeah, I'll check them out. I'm interested in reading the small projects category. <laughs> that category is indeed fascinating. I created this node when building an AR quality sensor node. So I created uh, this. <laughs> I created this video, uh, and uh, so while working on this project, I took uh, this note. Yeah, that was fun. And this one is about uh, uh, building a to-do app with React Native. So I took this note while building uh, the project. Can't wait to learn from these examples. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope it's helpful for improving your uh, tech note-taking workflow. So see you in the next part.